Shook it up. Good morning from Budapest. We are here in our Airbnb. It is our second day. We go back tomorrow. We had all day yesterday here. And I'm just going to quickly show you around our Airbnb because it's super cute. It's 11 a.m. I've been up for hours. I haven't been sleeping the best. My hormones are still kind of all over the place and it's giving me like nightmares and stuff. If anyone else has experienced this before, please hit me up in the comments below because I've obviously never gone through this before. But I just want to say thank you for all the lovely messages and condolences that I've received from everyone over the last week. It really has meant a lot to me and it has made this difficult time a lot easier because I know I have so much love around me and I am getting past it and I'm moving on and I'm not going to dwell on it on my channel because that's not what I'm about. You all know what has happened and right now I just have to kind of move on and stop talking about it because it just upsets me. So we're going to move on. We're having a lovely time here in Budapest and um, it's super Christmassy. Like there's Christmas markets everywhere. It's not just like in Manchester, there's like one big Christmas market the same in Birmingham, but here they're kind of speckled throughout the city and it's quite a big city and it wasn't what me and Lex expected at all. I booked this trip for Lex for his birthday and um, so I booked it quite a while ago and um, yeah, it's probably one of our favourite places that we've ever visited out of like Rome, Paris, LA, Australia. We love it here. It's just really nice and we're having a really good relaxed time walking a lot getting my steps in so last week fitness and food wise i got back to track my macros because i hadn't been tracking for a very long time so i just decided that it would be good in the run up to christmas to kind of get back on track i put on some weight so dropped a few pounds i feel better about myself i have also joined the rural space it's just outside shrewsbury which is where we live now if you didn't know that Yes, we live in Shrewsbury now. And I've been going to classes. I did like five different classes last week. So they do they do loads of different classes, but my favorite ones are Pilates, gravity Pilates, which is kind of like reformer Pilates where you use a machine, but it's like a gravity machine. So it's pretty cool. And then yoga, which surprisingly I've never really enjoyed before, but um, the instructor Faye is really good. And it was like a really nice kind of, um, challenging my flexibility and things like that and not one of these kind of more meditation ones because I'm not really good at old relaxation and meditation but I really enjoyed the stretching so I've been do I did that every morning last week so I did about five and then got back to my training as well and just been feeling really good and positive and it's getting me into a better headspace um, Vicky, who owns the Rural Space, is also going to be taking me for some counselling, which currently I kind of need just to work through how I'm feeling. And that's fine because you look after your body and then you look after your head and your mental health. So that's what I'm doing. But today, I'm just going to take you through what we're going to do in Budapest. We went for a really nice breakfast yesterday in a place called Stika. Stika? The breakfast there was so good that Lex got two breakfasts. We, we kind of went around the market and ate this kind of, it was like a dough that was like in a cone shape and then it was like covered in cinnamon sugar. So yeah, I had that, we had some mulled wine, walked around and then we, in the evening, went for some nice food in a place called Pesti. And we're in like the fifth district, district five. It's like the Hunger Games, district five. But um, yeah, we're in the District 5 and it's in like a really cool building and it's an Airbnb. So I'm just going to show you around the Airbnb. I'm currently in my PJs. So these are from Green and Pink, my little nighty, if you're wondering. And I will be working with Green and Pink. They have some amazing nightwear and it just feels so luxurious because it's all like silky and lacy and um, not kind of like negligee, more like nightwear. And it just feels yeah like look curious i'm not wearing any makeup right now and i have broken out a bit hormonally around my face so sorry about that i'm gonna wash my hair and like put on makeup in a bit but um 
Yeah, so green and pink, I'm gonna do a full try on of all their stuff because I have loads of it and it's just amazingly packaged and it's really pretty. And if you're a guy and you're watching this, it's the perfect gift for your mom or your sister or your wife or whoever. And if you're a woman, treat yourself, treat your friend, treat your sister. But it's gonna show you around this area because it's so cute. Front door, we're gonna walk in here and straight away you're into the kitchen kind of dining area. In here we have the loo, don't need to focus on that. Kitchen area, we got the essentials, Nespresso, I just bought some extra Nespresso capsules cause coffee addict. So we've got some water. I bring like little oat packs with me cause I just think they're really handy to have something, especially when you've got an Airbnb that you can heat it up in the microwave, you've got fridge, all the necessities here. Floor is like, Really old school, it's just, I love this style, the wood and the kind of industrial chic. I love these doors. If we ever buy a house, I'm putting these doors downstairs in every room because I love them. I just think they're amazing. And I love chalk walls. Again, if we buy a house, one of the walls in the kitchen is gonna have a chalk wall. And then it's got a table, kind of similar to our kitchen table, which is nice. Looks as jewelry and stuff. Then we go in here. So again, that's the sliding door here. Um, we didn't realise it was this big. So there's me, hello. Um, so there's the bathroom sink. Got a hairdryer and everything included. And shower, it's a really nice shower. Good pressure. I just love the way they've decorated. And like if you were here for a long time, you've got um, washing machine, don't really need that. And then in here, there's another bedroom. The only thing is that that door has to slide across to there. So if you were having a few people, but if you had a kid or something, perfect. Lex is kind of using it as a semi-dressing room. Through here, and we go into it. I just love these kind of parquet wooden floors, and I love these. Sorry, vegans, but I do love cowhide um, prints on the floor. And just this little trunk for coffee table. It's just, the decoration is just my favorite. We've got Netflix on, because I've got like a smart TV, so got Gilmore Girls on the go. And then big sofa that actually pulls out into a double bed. And it's really comfy just for chilling on. And we've got like a little bar area over there. Me and Lex had wine. The wine is super cheap here. We got like a really good Hungarian wine for two pounds. My wardrobe and my outfit for today because I'm a freak who lays out their outfit every day. We even have a Christmas tree. Again, the big barn doors. And, ooh, who's in here? We've got Mr. Griffin in bed. What are you doing, Lexi? Editing. Editing what? Undisputed episode, Deuce. So if you have, don't know already, Lex has a new series out that is really cool and it's really worth watching. And um, Jay is helping him do all the filming and everything. So it's like literally Lex on it. He's not holding the camera himself, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Mm. It's like watching a TV series. And really is, isn't it? yeah, yeah, I actually saw him. The one that he's putting up now is all your morning routine and stuff. Morning routine, training, yeah. getting massaged by Rebecca. Oh, I miss Rebecca. Yeah. We need to get Rebecca to come and massage us again. Um, so this is the room. As you can see, they have nice hanging space. Um, and just all, the bed is on pallets and it's quite a comfy bed. I will link this Airbnb down below. And you've got all the exposed brick, really high ceilings. And this mirror is really good because it gets perfect light. And I'm in my PJs. Woo -woo. And Lex has the coffee on the go, work on the go. I'm gonna leave him cause he's doing that grumpy face where I'm disturbing him. <laughs> Bye grumpy, we'll see you in a while when we're going in, Shut when we're actually up. dressed. When we're dressed, we'll show Lex again. So it's 2 p.m. and we're slightly more together. Look how handsome Lex is. Cameron doesn't even wanna focus on him. Mm. Lex looking quite dapper. Wait for it. Some of that business up front. Hello, how are you doing? Party at the back. <laughs> it's the mullet of the show world. And I am just as Christmassy as I can get. Because this is my style. I'll show you this scarf, which I think is from Zara from last year. I just, I love orange. 
as you can probably tell. This jumper is from Nasty Gal and I've slightly tucked it in to my mini skirt which is a petite one from ASOS and it's like, I don't know if you can see that but it's cord. Then little tights, they are from Primark because you need the sheer ones with the over the knee boots and the over the knee boots were my Black Friday, my only Black Friday purchase and I got them on Free People. And I like them because, number one, they're over the knee. Number two, they are kind of like a grey colour as opposed to all black. Number three, the heels are not super high, so comfort. Straighten the hair. Put on some makeup, as you can probably see, so you can't see how tired I am. And now we are going for breakfast. So I did my googling of breakfast joints and I found one that I really want to go to. It's not open today on a Monday for some reason. So we're going to another place and we'll go to that place tomorrow. And I may update you on that. We are, we're here until tomorrow afternoon. So go get breakfast, have a mosey round and just a chilled out day because it's holidays. So you don't have to be super busy and doing loads of crap when you're away. You're meant to be relaxing because it's your time away from your life. So we have made it to our breakfast destination and the wind has wind swept my hair. And we've just ordered, we are in Bluebird. Bluebird karaoke cafe. I haven't heard anyone sing it. So we're starting with coffees. That's my flat white, Alex cappuccino. Oh Alex, look, you actually have wings behind you right now. You're like a blue angel. <laughs> so this is our late brunch. I've got bagel with some smoked salmon and some scrambled eggs. Loads of fats, some carbs, some protein, and all you can do has here. Alex, what you got going on there, Alexi? Nine times. What did I order? Eggs Benedict. Oh, oh yeah. So I've got avocado somewhere. There should be avocado and hummus. I think it's underneath. It looks pretty good though. Yeah. My angel. That's chippies. <laughs> Lex with the new money. Are you rich? Oh, we are loaded. We've got tens of thousands. <laughs> Ruffer, doffer, dinger, longer, dinger, dubers. <laughs> There's different flavours. There's the blueberry, strawberry, rose. Oh, I'm going for the red. Good. Oh, yeah, the good stuff. They look exactly the same. It smells. Mine's got a little sweet smell to it. All right, blueberry mulled wine. Ooh, it's like a naughty Ribena. <laughs> okay. Swapsies. Oh, it is sweeter. Fuck me, yours is hot. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I think I just killed my tongue. Oh, apologies for the foul There's language. No fucking apologies. <laughs> Fuck you, red mold line. Blueberry's better. Cheers oh, to Christmas. Christmas. Chin chin. On my Instagram post yesterday, I asked people where we should go, and this place, Artisan, was recommended for the berry vanilla bun. So we're gonna try it now and see what we think. This is the bun in question. I'm not really sure what they make it with. It's like a sweet dough, I suppose, like a pastry. Hmm. We're sharing because we want to get more stuff, don't we, Lex? Yeah, basically we're having crap, so we're gonna have more crap, and because we're having half as much, yeah. we're gonna have twice as much. It's just math. Lex is now trying to decide which is the bigger half. 
I can see what you're calculating, Lex. You're like, which has more stuff in it? <laughs> you don't know everything. <laughs> that was better than you. Okay. That was supposed to be a really cinematic moment. There's <laughs> <laughs> all these like, little things for all the wires. Is it Mr. Wolf? Nine girls. What does that mean? Food o'clock. Food o'clock. Oh, are going for Hungarian food. What is Hungarian food? Goulash and stuff. You just want to say goulash. <laughs> I had a peruse of the menu and there's some very funny looking things on it that Lexus, believe me, actually are on the menu. So. Cock balls. <laughs> oh, it's roos Cock. rooster testicles. <laughs> Cock balls. I mean, do you ever walk past a rooster and go, ooh, look at the nuts on that. Mmm, tasty. No. No. I'll show you the menu when we get there. So we arrived at the restaurant and I think I'm going to go for the chicken breast paprikash with egg noodle. But I just want to show you the menu to prove that there is in fact rooster testicles on the menu. This is what I'm planning on having. As you can see, it's very authentic rooster testicles with coxcomb stew and white peasant bread, which I think Lex is probably going to go for. Two, two servings. Two servings of testicles. testicles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So we've got traditional lamb paprika and a spicy pickle. <laughs> Miscellaneous, especially with bitten and spray. <laughs> <laughs> They're really spicy. I'm, my mouth is still watering. <laughs> <laughs> My lips are burning so. <laughs> These Eyes are watering from the top. I want more. <laughs> it's a nice spice. It's spicy. Yeah. Mine was spicier than that one. Paprika. Mm. Oh, I feel good. Mm. Hungarians, you know what you do with your food, my god. I'd be so fat if I lived here. So fat. Great. I feel like I'm breathing flames. <laughs> That's my one. The seeds of the hobbit. Yeah. And the I just ate all the seeds from grain. Can you see tears? Yeah. <laughs> the river is streaming down your face. <laughs> I'm in a bad place. 
I regret my manly actions. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't help. Okay, take my tongue out. Ah. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of seeds. <laughs> we both tend to. <laughs> Why are you still going? Challenge accepted. Here, mate. I'm still crying. I'm still crying. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm turning to Mutley. Chase the pigeon, catch the pigeon. I don't have waterproof mascara on. Uh, where have your eyes gone? Oh, uh, we are Siamese if you don't, please. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can feel it in my armpits. <laughs> it's giving me hard work. <laughs> Read through it. Read through the pain. Later <laughs> that day, lady died. She died, guys. She died. She's not dead. She, she, she's got sweaty armpits and heartburn. <laughs> Don't die. If you die, that'd be really annoying. Have you ever tried to get a dead body back from another country to your own to bury them? It's just not worth it. Zeros. We're done in the spicy restaurant and I'm a little bit sleepy. I only want is some chocolate and ice cream, but we're gonna go and find the bar. Party! Or rockers. Back to time! Excellent! This is cool. This is really cool. So this is called what? The Ruin? Yeah, Ruin Bar. Final day in Budapest and Lex is watering the plant. Listen, if you see a plant that's thirsty, you gotta feed the little bugger. Imagine if you were thirsty and you were just like trapped. I don't think they have emotions. Hey, people sing the plants and they do dances. Groot! Maybe it's Groot. <laughs> So we are off to get breakfast. We got a late checkout, so we get to check out at two. It's just before 12 now. We kind of had a lazy morning, like we've had every morning here. And we're going to go to a place called Sankapult. I'm probably pronouncing that horrifically, but it's meant to do a really good breakfast, so. Yes, we got nice. So Sankapult, or whatever way you pronounce it. Um, like something happened in the kitchen, something was broke. We're not really sure what. No electricity. No electricity? Yeah. Yeah, so they cut them, the kitchen was closed. So they, I would recommend it because the breakfast too look amazing. And it would be on my list of where we'll come next Just don't, time. when you walk in, put your coat down on the left behind the ladder because underneath the pile of things that you think is a coat, no, it's a chihuahua. Yeah, and Lex upset a little chihuahua. <laughs> she, and the lady was like, no, don't, don't, don't pet. She's going to bite you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go back to the place we went the first day, or if we see somewhere along the way, um, and get breakfast because I'm getting pretty hungry that now. Do, do, bum, ba, ba, ba. Kitchen wasn't working. Second place, 
the vintage garden, which looked really, really cool and Christmassy, um, was not serving breakfast. So we wanted breakfast. And that's what we're getting here in Sika. And it's the best. So if you come to be the best, you have to come here for breakfast. Lex is just picking food product out of his. It's not food, it's part of the toothpaste or hair product. <laughs> But he has gotten the breakfast burger. So instead of bread, they've got two pancakes, eggs, bacon. Is there? And there is like a there is a beef patty in there as well. And I'm thinking that's maple syrup on top. So that's interesting. Then I've got a mimosa because you have to get your five a day in. And here's my five units of alcohol. And then I've gone for the stika breakfast, which is uh, sausage. We've got some mustard, we got some bacon. I opted out of the fried egg and got a poached egg, so I prefer poached. Then this is like some kind of onion and some salad and obviously coffee. Social work. We're all packed up, ready to go. Ready to go. Bye bye, Budapest apartment. Bye bye, crate bed. Just ready to head to the airport now. We had our breakfast, we've got cookies for our flight. We've had an amazing time in Budapest. I can honestly say that out of all the cities I've visited in the world and all the places, Budapest is my favorite city, definitely. And I've, I've visited a diverse amount of places and it is definitely number one on my list and Definitely, without a shadow of doubt, coming back here because there's so many different places I want to visit and that we just missed out on. Hope you enjoyed my little Budapest video. And if you are visiting Budapest, I hope you visit some of the amazing places that we went to. I know it was very food orientated, but you know, weekend breaks, that's what it's all about. So see you in the next video where I am going to do a green and pink try on of all their amazing stuff. See you then. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turned to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.